and welcome to the session on time and work. We look at some of the solved examples in this particular video. I'm Ravi, Ravi Handa, and this is my Twitter handle. You can connect with me on Twitter or you can provide feedback via email at my mail ID, which is ravihanda at gmail.com. Now to begin with, the first thing that I like to tell you is there are six questions in this video. For all those questions, I would request you that you try them on your own first. You can pause the video then and there and then look at the solutions. And even before you try these solved examples, I suggest you, uh, you watch the concept video on time and work. I've already uploaded it and I suggest you watch that first. Now, to begin with the first example. If X men are working X hours a day can do X units of work in X days. Okay, so I have X men who are working for X hours for X days and they are doing X units of work. Now, if instead of X, X and X, this was, if you double the amount of men, 2X men for 2X hours for 2X days, what will be the amount of work done? Since this has doubled, this has doubled, this has doubled, your amount of work would have been 8 times because number of men working and the amount of work is directly proportional. For the time that they are working, which is represented in terms of hours and days here, that is also directly proportional to the amount of work done. So if the number of hours doubles or the number of days doubles, then work would also double. If both of them are doubling, then work would become four times. Here, since men, hours and days, all three of them were doubling, my work became two into two into two or eight times the original. Keep that idea in mind and let's proceed with the question. Why men working for Y hours would be able to complete how many units of work in Y days? So number of men is Y. So this has become Y times the original, Y by X times the original for Y hours. So this has also become Y by X times the original for Y days. So this has also become Y by X times the original. So the amount of work done will be y by x for the men, y by x for the hours, y by x for the days or y by x whole cube of the original work, which means the work done will be y cube upon x square. And that will be the total amount of work done. Looking at question number two, a work can be completed by 40 workers in 40 days. That means the total work was 40 men into 40 days or 1600 man days was the total amount of work. Five workers leave every 10 days. In how many days the work will be completed? Okay, so for the first 10 days, 40 workers are working for 10 days. So the amount of work done will be 400. Then from 11 to 20, there will be 35 workers who will be working for 10 days. So 350 man days work will be done. 21 to 30 will be 30 men working for 10 days. So 300 units or 300 man days of work will be done. In 31 to 40 range, 25 men are working for 10 days, which is 250, 41 to 50 will be 20 men for 10 days, which will be 200 and so on and so forth. But before we proceed, let us see how much work have we finished in the first 50 days. 400 plus 200 is 600, 350 plus 250 is another 600, 600, 600 is 1200. 1200 and 300 is 1500. So out of the 1600 man days, which was total work, you have already finished 1500. Starting from day 51, how many people will be working? 15 men will be working and they need to do how much work? 1600 was total, 1500 is already done. Work remaining is 100 units. So this 100 units by 15 men can be done in how much time? 
six six days. So six point six six days for the last hundred bit, fifty for this. So what is the total amount of time taken? Fifty and six point six six total amount of time taken will be fifty six point six six days. You will have to add up the two values here. Next one. Two men and four boys can complete a piece of work in eight days. So I have two men plus four boys, and they are taking eight days to finish the job. Then four men and two boys can do the same job. So four men and two boys can do the same amount of job in six days. Now, since the total amount of work which needs to be done is the same. these will be equal to each other now you just calculate how much this comes out as this gives you 16 man days plus 32 boy days is equal to 24 man days plus 12 boy days and this gives you what 24 minus 16 is 8 man days is equal to 32 minus 12 what 20 boy days which essentially gives you a very important relationship that one man is effectively 2.5 boys now once you have this relationship what is your total amount of work two men can be written as a uh, five boys five boys plus four boys nine boys See, I am writing two men. One man is two point five boys from here. So two men will be five boys. Five boys plus four boys, nine boys. Nine into eight, or seventy two boy days, is the total amount of work which needs to be done. And how many people are working on it now? One man and one boy. So since it is in boy days, I'll convert this man to two point five boys, or I have three point. Five boys who are working on it. Seventy-two boy days by three point five boys is effectively one forty-four by seven, or which comes out as twenty-four by seven days. So this effectively is the total time taken by a man and a boy working together to complete the work. So this will come out as our answer. Next one, A and B can complete a piece of work in nine days and eighteen days. They start working together, but A leaves three days before the completion of the work. Okay, that means in the last three days, who was working? Only B was working. So how much work will be done in the last three days? B in one day does one by eighteen. So in the last three, B will do. Three into one by eighteen, or one by six of the work, one sixth of the total work. So before that, before the last three days, what was the work done? Total work is completed. So before the last three days, they would have done one minus one by six, or five by sixth of the work. In one day, when both A and B are working together. How much can they accomplish? They'll do one by nine plus one by eighteen, which is effectively two by eighteen plus one by eighteen, or three by eighteen, or one sixth. Now I have all the necessary information. In one day, A and B can do one sixth of the work. When they are working together, they have to finish five by six. And in the last three days, uh, B finishes one sixth. So, in how much time will A and B working together finish five by sixth of the work? In one day they finish one sixth of the work. So A and B will work together for five days to finish five sixth of the work, and in the last three days, B working alone will finish the rest of the work. So what is the total amount of time taken? Total amount of time taken is these five days plus. Three days or eight days. 
Let's look at the next one. Two pipes A and B can fill a tank in 24 minutes and 32 minutes. If both pipes are open simultaneously, then after how much time B should be closed such that the tank is full in 18 minutes. A in 1 minute can fill 1 by 24. B in 1 minute can fill 1 by 32. For how long is A working? A is working for 18 minutes. For the full time, A was not closed. B was closed. So A is working for the full time. So it will do 18 by 24th of the work. B, I don't know. Let's say B was working for T minutes. And combined, they were able to do the full task. Very simple equation. That's all you need to solve. That means T by 32 is 1 minus 18 by 24 is 3 by 4 or 1 by 4 which gives me t is equal to 32 by 4 which is 8 minutes. That means pipe B worked only for 8 minutes. After how much time should B be closed? B should be closed after 8 minutes because it only worked for uh, 8 minutes. And finally pipes A and B can fill a tank in 35 minutes and 45 minutes. Pipe C can empty the tank in 30 minutes. Okay. So if you look at the amount of work that they are doing, A in 1 minute will fill 1 by 35, B in 1 minute will fill 1 by 45, and C in 1 minute will remove 1 by 30 because see A and B are filling the tank. C is emptying the tank. And you need to keep that in consideration because only then you will be able to get the total amount of required time. Now, after 7 minutes, C was open. So A and B were working from initially. After how much time the tank will be full? Let's say the tank is full after T minutes or T is the value that we are trying to find out. So this will be T by 35 plus T by 45 because both of them are working for the full period. On the other hand, C is working for T minus 7 because it was opened after 7 minutes and this is equal to 1, the total amount of work done. Now you just need to solve this. 35, 45 and 30, LCM will come out as 630. Uh, 630 by 35 will give you 18T, 45 twice is 90 and then 7. So that means first was 18t, now this is 14t, 30, this will be 21 times t minus 7. This is equal to 1. So what does this give me? 18t plus 14t is 32t, 32t minus 21t. 32 minus 21 is 11t, then minus 21 into minus 7 is plus 147 which is equal to 630 goes to the other side or 630 which gives me the value of t as 630 minus 147 is 483 yeah 483 by 11 which if you calculate roughly comes out to be 43 9 by 11 or 43 sorry 440 then uh, I am left with 43 so 33 43 10 by 11 minutes. So this is our required answer. Time taken by pipes A and B to fill the A, B and C. All three of them working together when it was opened after C minutes to fill the entire tank. See, now since we are done with the six questions, I like to emphasize on one point. Look at question number six. It was just one equation that you needed to solve. How did you form this equation? You did a per minute analysis. If you go back in question number 5, what did we do? Again, it is just one equation where you did a per minute analysis and you got the answer. Let me go back. Here, what was happening was a little more complicated. Uh, it was actually simpler. It was not complicated. You just calculated per minute work, per minute work by per minute or per day work by A and B. What was happening here? Here it was talking about efficiencies. Here you again calculated on, uh, on the basis of work done in units of time. 
This was probably the simplest one of the lot where you just uh, looked at the ratios and the proportionality. I think with this, uh, I'd like to wrap up this session on solved examples. If you still have any doubts with any of these questions that we have done or any other questions, please reach out to me via Twitter or via my email ID, which is ravihanda at gmail.com. Thank you.